What's going on everybody and welcome to the MAC championship game here at Ford Field. Your Tommies from St. Thomas University are going to take on the Red Hawks from Miami University in Ohio. It's going to be a really good one. Top 25 matchup to be crowned champions of the MAC conference. It's going to be a really good one so make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe if you had to be new. Let's go ahead and kick off. The MAG Championship game. Alright man, defense is out on the field first. You know what that means man, we gotta come out here and set a tone. Do it for our boy Tyler Graham, who nearly escapes with Ben. Gets it off to Lance Humphrey at the last second. Gets the first down for the Red Hawks. As now, here we go, second and nine once again. Looks like a little T-bone formation that they're coming with right away. Wishbone U, Miami of Ohio is apparently... As now, they're moving down this field. We got him in a third and two. Got to make sure that we get this stop. As third and two, going to go short. And once again, another first down for these Red Hawks, man. We're doing what we need to do these first couple of downs. But, you know, right now on third down, they just take it up on another notch. That we're simply not ready for as we nearly get the sack. We also nearly get the interception as Zaire Hill does get there to break up that pass. And now, here we go. Maybe third time's the charm. Third and 11 coming up here. It's a screenplay. We're there. Can we make the tackle, though? Yes, sir. Chris Harbour does not have the sauce. And they have to punt it away to the Tommies. Where they will be taking the field for the first time today. Going to hand it off to Lucas Coley, who goes on field. Some tough running, but does pick up a few yards. If we're going to win this ball game, Lucas Cole is going to have to be involved quite a bit today. But we also got to make sure we can pass it too. Trying to go up the field to Isaiah Thomas, who breaks the tackle. He's up at the 40-yard line. Nice play by Isaiah Thomas. So now, first and 10. Johnson looking over the middle, finding Alex Garcia for the first down. Already across midfield for this Tommy's football team. The biggest play ever, or the biggest game ever in St. Thomas history, and they are looking very comfortable early on. You can tell they have a great culture under Walt Bell, as there's another 13-yard ca catch. A couple plays later, second and six now. Antoine Johnson's going to try to carry it up the middle, off the read option, and nearly picks up that first down, very close to that first down marker. So you already know what's coming next. Got to hit him with another read option. To pick up that extra inch. And it's a tough run up the middle. Not a lot of space. But Lucas Colby does find just enough. In order to pick up that first down. And you know if it's not broke why fix it. We're going to go with the read option three times in a row. And it's working really well for us. Nearly another first down already for Johnson. A nine yard gain on that one. As now Kajai Boyd will step into the game. And take a carry up the middle. He picks up a few yards. Able to get to that first down marker and a little bit more. First and goal now coming up. Let's see if we can get the first points on the board as Isaiah Thomas gets the ball taken away from him. But it does count as an incompletion. So now we move up to third and goal now. Don't want to settle for three when you're the underdog. Unless you don't absolutely have to as Lucas Coley finds the end zone. Touchdown, Tommies. And St. Thomas will strike first in this ball game taking a 7 to nothing lead is now here we go once again the Red Hawks back on the field on offense let's see how they respond to that offensive possession as they're now going to try to take it up the left hand side Joe Henry can't make the tackle Kevin Carter can't either and Billy Mitchell finally comes to that opposite sideline to make the tackle as we move up to second and ten couple plays later it's Kevin Carter with an interception what a diving grab for the junior cornerback this defense really playing inspired for the you know injured Tyler Graham who is out for the rest of the season with the collarbone injury as now we'll go to Lucas Coley he's gonna run up field he's gonna take it up the sideline and is brought down finally around the 10 yard line what a start for the St. Thomas football team. This team is running on all cylinders. 
as now third and six going to try to go upfield. It's fourth and one now as Jamie Smith doesn't pick up the first down. So we'll have an interesting decision to make as St. Thomas does end the first quarter of play up seven to nothing on a 13th ranked team in the nation in the Miami Red Hawks. So here we go. St. Thomas is going to go for it here on fourth down. Let's see what they do here. Looks like they're going to call an audible. They like the numbers that they see. Just going to run it up the gut with Lucas Coley and see what can shake here as Coley. They're going to snap it up the middle. He's in. Touchdown, Tommies. As Lucas Coley gets his second touchdown of the ball game, your Tommies are now up 14 to nothing. As now it's time to see if we can open things up here. Free and out cause on the next Red Hawks possession. So we're back out here on this football field. Looking to take instant control right now. You love to see it. As now, here we go. Second and four coming up. It's a read option once again. Antoine Johnson, he's got the corner. He's going down the sideline. No one in front of him, but he gets caught from behind but not before picking up 42 yards. And now we're right back in the red zone. Let's see if we can finish this drive off too as Lucas Coley gets another catch. That one was for nine yards on that play. So now, second and one coming up. Johnson, another read option again. He's gonna take it up the gut and pick up just enough for the first down. First and goal coming up here. And if we can get into the end zone here, this could be one of our biggest leads in the entire season. But it's, bro <laughs> it has been, it was read like a open book. So now two plays later, third and goal. Let's see if we come up here. We're calling slants. Somebody can get open as Isaiah Thomas does. Touchdown, Tommies. And a, just a offensive bombardment for St. Thomas. Now we're up 21 to nothing as we put more pressure on the Red Hawks as they're back on the field for offense. First and 10, halfback counter as Harper nearly gets caught in the backfield but somehow gets out of there. If he didn't trip on his own lineman, he probably could have gotten way more yards. But we got pretty fortunate as Harper's gonna take it up field again and he's gonna break a tackle from Zaire Hill. And it looks like 23, looks like that might be Jared Odom was there to make the tackle finally. As now, first and 10. Joe Henry tries to make the tackle. He can't make it as this running back is determined to get the Red Hawks on the scoreboard for the very first time today. As we got him to a third and five now. Jones dropping back the pass. They call some type of screen. I have never seen that abomination of a play before, but it's broken up as they're going to try to sell for a field goal to get their first points on the board, but someone goes off sides. And it's going to be on the Red Hawks. So we're, we, they're backed up a few more yards, but they're still going to go for the field goal as the kick is up and it is wide to the right. That was not even close. As we do get a studio update, the Miami Hurricanes are playing the Seminoles from Florida State. Miami in danger of losing their first game of the season, whereas Florida State is looking to prevent their rivals from making it to the national championship game. And we'll now cut things back to this MAC championship game of 21 to nothing with the ball for St. Thomas as Alex Garcia makes a nice play. He picks up the first down off the curl route. What a way to make your second catch of the day. And now, first set of downs. Johnson dropping back. He's going to find Rashawn Bird, who goes over the middle for a gain of 12. Another first down for the Tommies. And we're moving this thing downfield with ease. Johnson. Looking around, going to see if he can scramble. He finds Isaiah Thomas downfield, who quickly goes out of bounds. Saving some time off the clock for now. The clock will stop. And now, Johnson, going to try to get it to Thomas again. A dangerous throw. Doesn't matter, though. You know Antoine Johnson, the gunslinger. He will not hesitate to pull that as we find Thomas again. Thomas just shredding this defense as there is another touchdown for these Tommies. And don't blink now. We have a 28 to nothing lead here in the first half. As now Miami is just trying to get to the locker room as soon as possible. 
But we're not going to let that go so easily as we call a timeout ourselves as we force another free and out here. So we have two timeouts to work with and 130 on the clock. More importantly, Kajani Boyd is back to receive his kick. You know, this is a very bad man, as Stephen A. Smith will say. And you can see it right here as Boyd has the space. He's eventually brought down at the 25-yard line. And you can see the disparities in the offense. St. Thomas is able to do whatever they want. Whereas the Red Hawks, I'm openly wondering if they left their offense on the bus. But now we cut to our team. Johnson going to try to throw over the middle. It's incomplete. Marcus Curry does make the pass deflection. And now here we are. Second and 10. Alex Garcia. He goes over on the slants and nearly picks up the first down. Thought he was going to stretch that ball across the plane, but that simply did not happen for us. And now, third and one. Can Kajai Boyd pick up the first down? No, because Johnson's going to do it for us. Off the read option, four-yard gain. Keeps the drive moving as we look to pick up another touchdown. That would be insane for us right now as Tyreek Miller does get closer. But we do call our second timeout. And now we only have a couple seconds left. This might be our, one of our last plays here of this uh, fourth, or first half. As we try to scramble it in there, but he's brought down trying to scramble in. At this point, we do decide to settle for the field goal. And look at this lead that we put down on the Red Hawks. We are up 31 to nothing going into the locker room. So you're probably wondering what happened to Kajai, or not Kajai Boyd, but to Lucas Colby towards the end of that first half, why we saw more of Kajai Boyd. Well, the man decides to sprain his elbow. He is out for the rest of this game, so Kajai Boyd will start the second half, and we will have Jamie Smith, a fullback on this squad, backing him up. Now, let's get ready to jump into the second half, see if we can finish these guys off once and for all. So St. Thomas does get the ball to start the second half, and if we score a touchdown here, I'm going to probably sim out. We are just really being a dead horse here as we try to go deep for, looks like Tyreek Miller can't quite make the grab. Chris Hartman does make the deflection, and now we have third and ten. We actually are in danger of having our first free and out all day today. Trying to prevent that as we go up the field for Kajane Boyd, who makes an amazing grab up the field. 21 yards on that one. And now, a fresh set of downs. Johnson up the middle, taking it upfield some more. Another big gain. He gets back up too, and he nearly gets into the end zone. He's caught from behind. But what an insane turn of events on that play. That got some more yards for us. As we try to throw to Allen on the next play, that is incomplete. So now, second and ten. Johnson looking. Going to find Alex Garcia. Can he get in the end zone? Yes, he does. That's going to seal the deal here, man. At this point, I think we're just going to go ahead and sim out of this game. Just absolutely taking care of business. As that is going to seal the deal. As we're just throwing dagger after dagger. Your Tommies in Season 7 will claim the MAC Conference Championship. And it was an amazing performance. There's Antoine Johnson just absolutely putting in work, man. Four total touchdowns. You can see us with that trophy. You love to see it, man. Love all the work that these guys have put in. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And this is your final score. St. Thomas is going to walk away with the MAC title winning by a final score of 41 to 14 what our best performance of this entire season maybe in the whole dynasty by four you love to see it so this game could have not been any better for St. Thomas we did exactly what we wanted to do out here man winning every single quarter just really being on their ass to be honest man what an amazing game the only quarter that the red hawks even won was that fourth quarter but we had our backups in so it was like it does didn't even matter at that point without a doubt this has definitely been the very best game that we have ever played 
in this entire dynasty so far. Checking out the stats for our guys, and it was a busy one for Antoine Johnson. 21 for 34, 215 yards, and four touchdowns today. The best game of one of the best games of his collegiate career to date. Noah Brooks also got an appearance, and he was okay. Well, he didn't really do much of anything 0 for 2. I mean, that's really all you need to say. That's why he's the backup. This running game, though, was absolutely involved, though. Antoine Johnson was shredding people on the ground. 13 carries for 140 yards, but he did not get into the end zone on the ground, though. That is Lucas Coley, who had 7 carries for 56 yards and that singular touchdown in the first half. The receiving core was also anchored by Isaiah Thomas as he had a fantastic game today. 7 catches for 97 yards and 2 scores. Alex Garcia also got into the end zone with 4 catches for 49 yards. And the same thing could be said for Lucas Coley, who had three catches for 16 yards. Devin Green also had a few pancakes today, so you love to see that. You know, Warrens, Buck Bullock, Isaiah Thomas, and Jamie Smith also go pancakes. And, you know, you know, a decent amount of these guys are going to come back for their senior seasons. So we're excited about that. This defense, you know, didn't have to do too terribly much, but hey, it did what it had to do, though was absolutely electric in this game brett smart actually led the team today with seven tackles though billy mitchell wasn't too terribly far behind him with five we only got to this quarterback one time though as joe henry was able to put down a devastating hit on this quarterback and then we had two turnovers today kevin carter got a turnover and then you know during that fourth quarter where we decided to sim justin hill also got an interception as well and it looks like we also forced a fumble as Buster Porter, you know, was able to get in there and force a fumble and, you know, was also able to get a recovery on top of that. So, hey, defense was absolutely electric. You love to see it, man. I got to say that was such a dominating performance against the Red Hawks. I was thinking about waiting at least one more season before moving up to a bigger conference, but we might have to do that early, you know, to pay, uh, <laughs> Just with how things go with this bowl game and all that. Uh, that's probably like a later episode thing. I'll probably have something up in my Discord that you can check out. I'll probably have a poll to decide whether I move up to a bigger conference or not. You know, so and that Discord is in the description below if you want to check that out and you know support me in a more personal way. As well as check out my Patreon if you do, you know, love the content on this channel, you know, and do support me in a more personal way you know don't i don't need you know the money from my patreon to do what i do but it does really help support the channel if you want to go and do that with all that being said though we need to figure out what bowl game we're about to go to so we'll go ahead and sim to bowl week we also get word on the heisman trophy results and dustin andrews from usc who is a running back does win the heisman 23 total touchdowns and over 2,000 yards of total offense definitely speaks for itself. But check out Kyle Alexander. We played him back in season six and put a ton of turnovers on him. He actually bounces back and have a great season himself. He finishes second in the Heisman Trophy race. And it looks like we will be playing in the Little Caesars Pizza Bowl going up against the Maryland Ter Terrapins from the Big Ten. You know, was hoping for a little bit better of a bowl game, but, you know, you take what you can get when you're a smaller program. We do also move up to only number 17 in the nation, despite a beatdown of a top 15 team. On top of that, we got some award winners on this squad. Antoine Black wins the Rotary Lombardi Award. You love to see it. We also get Kajaye Boyd winning the Returner of the Year. He was definitely an electric football players for us for sure and then our head coach walt belt does win coach of the year once again i'm pretty sure this is the second time in a row that this man has received the award so i'm not going to lie i am feeling a little bit disrespected you know by the fact that we only get to go to the little caesars bowl despite our statement win over miami of ohio but i guess we're gonna have to go ahead and take that out on the maryland terrapins they're, they're B's across the board, whereas we're C minus C, C minus. Kerb Herbstreit's going to rock with them, even though they're definitely not ranked. But, you know, they still want to doubt us, even after, you know, all the work that we've been putting in this season. 
I guess we gotta go and show them wrong, man. That's really all that we can do. As, you know, I think that's how we're gonna end it here, man. If you do enjoy the content here on this channel, make sure you smash that like button as well as subscribe if you're new. This is John J. Gaming on the mic, hoping you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everybody.